Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 27th, 2019. Well, my goodness, back in the saddle today, we had um, quite an interesting day yesterday, even though there was no morning market prep yesterday, um, expecting very low volume. And, and actually, that is what happened. We had very low volume. But Amazon came out and, and uh, bragged about some uh, huge retail numbers that they had achieved, and that inspired the market to move on higher. And we had new records being set in the Diamond Spy, the QQQ, and just absolutely no stopping at this point this Santa Claus rally and, and those retail sales here at the even even though um, you know Santa's already returned to the North Pole and and um, starting to Christmas is starting to fade into memory we have this rally continuing and showing lots and lots of strength here in the market so let's take a look at the at the Dow here and take a look and see what the technicals are showing us and as you can see we're just running up um, this trend what a tremendous quarter we've had and although there's been an awful lot of volatility and things this year we are certainly finishing this year strong and actually finishing this decade tremendously strong um, what a, an amazing run this market has had and as you can see if I put on some um, standard moving averages here that we look at a lot this black line here is the eight exponential moving average we call that the T line uh, my good friend and partner Rick Sadler is actually the um, guy who created the tr the T line and uh, even copyrighted the T line. And as you can see, um, we're just doing what we call a T line run here in the market, just running, running straight up that move. So we have this beautiful T line run going um, into uh, the end of this week and possibly even even into the end of this year. Let's uh, take a look at the SPY. SPY doing virtually the same thing, just running really, really strong trend, very, very bullish. If I had one thing to say that maybe a concern is that we're pushing it a little bit too far, but as you can see, the T-line, um, that eight exponential moving average, looking very good, holding that market up very strong, and the bulls just don't show any sign of weakness here, and the bears just don't even seem to have an interest in participating right now at all. They're just staying on the sideline here, um, getting out of the way of this bull run. So very, very strong moves here. We've got support in this chart doesn't appear to be much of anything to worry about here at least at the moment and there's no clues here at the moment of any kind of sell-off or pullback um, at least yet let's take a look at the cues cues also very very strong uh, nice little consolidating move and pop so very strong this is almost what you would call a mat hold pattern or a rising three methods pattern in here where we um, just rested three days very very strong uh, very nice and as you can see nice little T line holding that up just running very strong we do have quite a little bit of distance between current price and that 50-day moving average that always does give me a little concern that we may be um, getting a little bit over exuberant but right now there doesn't seem to be any sign um, in the charts that the market wants to stop um, this move and if we look at our futures this morning we're looking at gap up here in the in the Nasdaq we're looking at a gap higher in the spy we're looking at a gap higher in the diamond so very very strong um, in the market this morning let's take a look at IWM now IWM is has not been the stellar performer this year but certainly has improved itself this quarter looking very strong pushing up here towards some resistance highs and as you can see this morning it is also running that t-line to the upside just staying very very strong uh, no signs of pulling back just yet 
and looking at a small gap up this morning. Now, one thing I will always say is when we're at new record highs or we're pushing against new record highs um, in the market, we want to be a little bit cautious of that possibility that we gap up in the morning and that's the end of the move, that we run into some selling. Now, momentum certainly says that's not going to happen here. And I don't want to be raising any alarm bells or thinking anyone thinking that I'm suggesting that the market's ready to turn and go south because I don't see that in the chart. Just always be careful of that gap up open. We want to make sure that we have some buyers following through, pushing it on up this morning. The last thing we want to see is that actually turning and coming back down. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Not to suggest that it will, um, but that's how those pop and drop patterns happen or even blow off tops can occur. So kind of keep that in mind um, as you prepare for trading today. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. Now the VIX saw a little bit of a rally yesterday, which is kind of interesting. Push down, fear was just dropping out of the market uh, during the day, but toward the end of the day, a little bit of fear creeping up in here, but I gotta tell you, there's really nothing in this VIX chart that suggests there's enough fear to really create any kind of a major stir here just yet. Um, we're holding this resistance, uh, we're holding this support, VIX is just kind of chopping around in a range here and can certainly remain in that range for the remainder of the year. There just is very little fear. That brings into uh, that also into that case that there may be a little bit too much complacency. So don't rest on your laurels thinking that the market just can't pull back or fall. We want to make sure and not be complacent and be prepared in case the market does turn. And remember, with beautiful rallies like we've seen here in the market and heading into a new year and everything, don't forget to take some profits into strength and, and and bank some of those dollars as the market continues to show tremendous bullishness here let's take a look at um t21 22. It's that four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we've been dancing around up here, pushing up against this um, all time high, or not all time high, this uh, bearish resistance high. We call this the bearish reversal zone up here. When we start reaching up here, we may be reaching that overbought condition where we push things just a little bit too far, a little bit too fast. Now, keep in mind that doesn't mean that we're in imminent danger of a collapse. That doesn't mean that we could just rest here and see T2122 pull back. So right now, still in very good shape here on T2122, and this gap up open is likely going to push us up into this bearish reversal zone. So we'll want to be watching that pretty carefully and just watch for that possibility of that pop and drop. Not that it will occur, just watch for that possibility as we push um, even higher here in the market. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at what's going on on our economic calendar today we don't have a whole lot here to inspire the market to, as you can see we have a natural gas report and an and a petroleum status report. Now, obviously the pet petroleum status report, very, very important to anything in the oil sector, and that could certainly help the market maintain this momentum if we get good numbers um, and supp good supply numbers here in um, the petroleum status. But please keep in mind that these are not likely the kind of things that we're going to be seeking out a whole lot of inspiration for here for the bulls. So keep that in mind. Not much going on there um, on the bullish side. We have, or, I, or inspiration side, I should say. Um, on the economic calendar, or excuse me, earnings calendar today, we have 18 companies on the earnings calendar. What's interesting is there's only one earnings report that's been verified. Of all of those um, um, earnings reports on the calendar, only one is verified for today. The rest are unconfirmed um, earnings reports and they are all the kind of companies that are unlikely to really move the market around. In fact, mostly small, uh, very small cap, not much happening in there, even penny stocks. So not much uh, there to find inspiration 
uh, for the market. So we're just going to be fueled on this momentum and energy and retail right now to continue to maybe push this uh, market up this morning. Let's just watch that pretty carefully and make sure we don't get trapped into chasing in at the last minute right before the market decides to turn and go the other direction. So just watch that closely. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. But before we do that, if um, you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. Um, I, I try to look at the technicals, try to remove the, all of the hype and take a look at what the market is showing us and helping um, helping to prepare for the day, how I want to approach the market for today. I can tell you after uh, nearly 15 years of trading full time, just this little preparation um, in the day helped me to uh, balance myself and avoid those emotional reactions uh, because of all the drama and all the hype that you might see in the financial news uh, on mornings like this. It's, it's easy to get caught up and it's easy to find yourself chasing. It's easy to find yourself uh, making very, very poor decisions because you're not mentally prepared for the day. And if you find these helpful, if you could please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, um, I, I got to tell you, this has just been a phenomenal year uh, for the right, right way options YouTube channel growing uh, very nicely and and really that is just simply a credit to every one of you who continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave those comments um, thank you so much everyone you guys are awesome I, I truly truly appreciate it and it's wonderful because I keep getting these great responses from folks how we're helping them with their trading so you're part of that and um, I couldn't do it without you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much for everyone who takes the time to do that. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, things that you might want to be watching, pay attention to. But I also want to remind everyone that every time I show a stock, that it is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own evaluation, decide whether or not this stock is meant for you and whether or not this is something you want to be following overall. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at some stocks that have some potential here. Take a look at Coca-Cola. My goodness, Coca-Cola. Um, and by the way, for full disclosure, I'm already holding this stock. So um, as you can see, it has been moving up nicely, broke this downtrend, breaking through some resistance. Nice little resting pullback and popping up yesterday and looking to move higher this morning. Coke looking very, very good. If you're in this, congrats. If you're not, there may be an opportunity here um, in Coca-Cola. Keep an eye on it. Make sure you do that evaluation and make sure it fits you as a trader. Very nice looking um, setup here uh, for for that chart. Um, we might also want to take a look at um, some of the uh, financials. Take a look at JP Morgan. JP Morgan, beautiful consolidation over toward trend, popping yesterday, beautiful pop up here, breaking that consolidation. I call this a pop out of the box where we have this really nice tight consolidation move and then we get that energy to pop on through and it seems to happen most readily once we reach that trend we reach over to the trend and we get that energy to pop to the upside so jp morgan looking very very good citibank making that move yesterday and looking very very good so take a look at some of those financials even if you look at xlf xlf as an etf uh, having a basket of those financials. Nice little resting pullback over toward trend, popping yesterday um, into that move, looking very, very strong. So a place to look that um, you may find something uh, very, very nice um, uh, to trade. Take a look at Amgen. Amgen, um, we've followed this for a while, popping through these nice little um, rises. This is just what I call a stepper. It's 
the stairway to heaven is what it is. We're just stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. And it looks like we're set up for that next opportunity here to the upside. Keep an eye on Amgen. It could follow through to the upside. So watch and wait. Don't anticipate. Wait for that to show those bulls want to push that on through. UNH is another one of those that has been just stepping its way right on up here, making these nice little consecutive moves moves up following this trend beautifully and now we've rested over here into this um, into this trend one thing I want you to notice is that we broke through this resistance high here in the chart and now we're just kind of resting and consolidating that move so it's certainly one to be keeping an eye on and with 300 so close at hand 300 would be a pretty reasonable target up there five dollar potential move makes for a nice option trade anyway if that can move up and tag that 300 as you guys know, I've been keeping an eye on Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble continuing to consolidate over toward this trend, dancing around in here, and you can see pushing against that resistance. Um, as we continue this consolidation, and uh, amazing how much this has tightened up, watch to see if that can finally pop on out. Proctor showing lots of strength here. No one seems to want to really sell it, holding in its trend. Let's watch and see if that can move on higher. Take a look at uh, PLNT, Planet Fitness. Now, Planet Fitness has been uh, rallying up nicely here lately, and we're running up against this resistance. But you can see Planet Fitness has been showing that little gradual move to the upside. As we come up here to test this area we might want to keep an eye on this this could go either direction we could pop on through that resistance up here pop on through and hold or we could come up in here and fail and make that bearish M type pattern we we say bearish M and hit run candlesticks and right way options it's kind of stands for murder um, pretty ugly uh, pattern when it does show itself but if that can pop through and hold and there's no reason to believe with the momentum of this market that it can't push on through and hold um, let's watch that pretty closely take a look at signet jewelers I've been talking about this one for a while and this is con just settling into that pattern that I suggested if you guys remember on this pullback and we had this pop I said be careful be careful because on that pop because there's a good chance this could just settle in and consolidate over toward its trend and that's exactly what's going on right here I wouldn't rule out even more pullback in this chart but Signet could be setting up here this is a beautiful breakout of a resistance area so let that rest and consolidate in there may have some pretty good upside opportunities to be watching for um, in that chart take a look at tho tho is one i've mentioned uh, multiple times pop through this big resistance area and now resting getting this little resting pulling back to, to test that as support as we push back toward this trend right in here let's watch for that next opportunity for THO to move on up if we can hold that level of price support in the chart. Great stocks all over the place. There's uh, no lack of them. Uh, that is for sure. And uh, take a look at the big move in Amazon yesterday. Amazon, just a whopping move, uh, gaining uh, 70 some points, almost 80 points, looks like 80 points uh, yesterday, slamming through some big levels of resistance resistance in the chart on those good retail numbers and it looks like it's going to gap up this morning now I wouldn't want to chase this but what I would want to do now that we've broken back up through that major resistance is just wait for that next potential entry into the trade and right now I'm going to put a little trend on this here any rest consolidation or pullback into here could set up that opportunity in Amazon now I know this is very expensive and may not be the trade for a lot of folks but certainly one to pay attention to how about CG CGC. CGC, I've been talking about this one and this one is still struggling and f yesterday dipped back below its 50-day moving average. That gives me a little concern here on CGC, but one thing I will point out is there is some price support right here. So if this can hold right in here and pop right back up, we may still be okay in this chart, but it's one to pay attention to, one to watch. 
I think if we fail down through this level, there could be more trouble to come here in CGC. We need that to break back above that little resistance box that got formed right here. And if we could pop back up through there, then there would be some opportunity then for this to hold that 50 day moving average, breaking that downtrend and showing us some upside. But right now, just a little bit sketchy here on that. We'll wanna watch that one pretty darn closely. How about EWC? EWC is a Canadian index fund and you can see I've had this marked up. Um, popped right on through that resistance yesterday showing lots and lots of strength so as we break through this major resistance area up here notice that we have a resistance high coming in this stock so canada picking things up if you're looking for an etf fund um, any rest consolidation in here may be the opportunity for this to move on higher so take a look at that chart looking pretty good overall so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And if you're struggling as a trader, if you've been struggling as a trader, please, um, please never give up on yourself. Um, you know, for me, I struggled for years and years and years until I finally got um, a simple plan put together, and I do think that's important, a simple plan put together that helped me make consistent money in the market. Keep up your hard work. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on that dream of being a successful trader. Everyone, I want to wish you all the very best, and we'll see you all bright and early Monday morning. Have a good one.